Action, yes. All right. Can't see me, right? Can't, can't see me? Hi. That, that was a surprise, wasn't it? Hi guys, welcome to uh, Stefani's. And in this episode, this will be part three of our uh, pizza diaries in Vancouver. In this series, we're gonna explore American style pizza, the different types of American style pizzas that you can find in uh, Vancouver, the US being full of Italian immigrants. Uh, there uh, have been many cities that have developed pizza cultures in, in the US. Luckily for us, some of these pizza cultures have also migrated to Vancouver. We're gonna be going to uh, New York Detroit, uh, Chicago, and uh, yeah, I lost a kind of special pizza at the end too. Uh, we're also going to be revisiting a couple of our favorite spots. We are very close to our first spot. We're going to go to uh, New York and woof, woof. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get away from those things and uh, yeah, let's walk over. <laughs> This is the trio of meatballs. I think they have veal, pork, and beef. And uh, just, wow, <laughs> look, yes. Oh, look at those sauces too, just on the bottom. So, uh, they normally have sandwiches, but they ran out of bread. So we just got literally the meatballs with the sauce and the uh, cheese on it. <laughs> and look at that, kind of greasy, delicious oil just resting at the bottom. Oh, absolutely perfect. Oh, yes. Oh, look at that. Oh, yes, perfect. And just gonna kind of get him in that sauce there. And there you go. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. That is flavorful. Yeah, wow. Very robust meatball. Uh, pretty tender still. I think it's all about that sauce, so that sauce is ridiculously good. A little bit of spiciness to it. I recommend these 100%. That's really, really good. Honestly, I might even like the sauce a bit more than the meatball. The sauce is just delicious. Yeah, can't complain. Next one, let's go. People who are new to Vancouver, uh, this park is a very unique name. It's called Dude Chilling Park. That's exactly what we're doing. We're gonna open this ridiculous sized pizza. This is called the Uncle Roni. There you go. Wow. <laughs> Just absolutely stunning. This is the same pizza we got last time. Now, we got the special edition. The Ronis are very different. So, it's called a Roni cup. And uh, this, I think I mentioned this in the other video, this is kind of taking over uh, New York. So, this is actually based in the Midwest and Buffalo. Uh, and it's this kind of special pepperoni cup that kind of retains those little fat, fatty bits in the middle. Or, uh, let, yeah, those fatty oils. A lot of places in New York are actually are changing their pepperoni to this type of pepperoni just because apparently it's just way more delicious. Wow. <laughs> just pure, salty, greasy, cheesy, fatty deliciousness. That's all I can describe this as super classic pepperoni, delicious pepperoni just on there. Oh man. Get your napkins because this is for sure a very delicious, uh, greasy bite but totally worth it. Oh, wow. What kind of a pizza only has one piece of pepperoni on it? Pepper lonely. You know, it's lonely. Uh, next to this park, we just noticed a food truck and guess what they're selling? Yeah, more pizza. So, yeah, let, let's go over uh, right now. We just ordered a small just because this wasn't really on our list, but there was one pizza that just looked super unique and it's called a Pizza Pollo Zeresh. I think. Zeresh? Yeah, Zeresh. <laughs> and what it has on it is, I think it has chicken, but it has dried barberry. Barberry is like a little fruit and it's a red fruit uh, commonly used in some European dishes, but a lot of Persian cuisine too. Uh, and that's the pizza we're gonna get. So very unique little take. I think it is thin crust too. So, shredded chicken, barberry seeds, mozzarella, uh, some sauce. Hey, let's go. Whoa. Okay. Mmm. It actually works really well. Uh, the pizza itself is, is very crispy. Look at the bottom. So, yeah, kind of Neapolitan style. Not very much sauce. So, it's a very, very dry pizza. It almost acts more like a flatbread. Uh, then you have those barberry seeds, which are just 
It's kind of cool. The chicken's just uh, in small pieces and shredded, but when you mix it with the barbecue seed, it has kind of like an acidic, raisiny taste. Um, mm, but yeah, just very kind of like a fragrant little poop. Uh, and, and yeah, uh, like I said, sweet, a little bit sour. Wow, I like that. So yeah, floral, raisiny, sour. Then with that mozzarella, the tomato sauce, uh, the shredded chicken, that's pretty cool. I like that. Okay. Yeah, there's quite a bit of barberries, so you can all, you can go all barbarian on, on this thing, you know, barbarian, barbary. Wow. Uh, our next place is a different style of pizza. We've been here before too, so this place is called Pepino's. They have uh, a new series of Detroit style uh, pizzas, uh, so that's what we're going to aim for today. Uh, we're not going to lie, we tried one of these last week, we were pretty enamored. Let's go, I think the pizza's ready, there's a park very close by. Hey, let's go! Detroit style pizza is pretty unique. It's square shaped and here you go. Oh my lord. This looks absolutely amazing. Just a huge kind of square pizza. The one characteristic of uh, Detroit style pizza is that it comes in a pan. I think it is pan, um, pan baked. So you get that kind of uh, crispy, cheesy, Look at, oh, look at that oil just on the side. Wow. Yeah, this is a very, very oily bite. Oh. So, this is their special, I think it's called the Big Nick. And uh, what they have is they have a mushroom, they have some uh, fennel sausage, they have uh, some green olives, and it all comes in an Alfredo sauce, so there's no red sauce on this one. You're gonna have some uh, gorgonzola uh, ranch, I think, or some gorgonzola sauce, and of course, some Calabrian chili oil. Oh, look at the way it kind of just breaks apart. This is a very, very uh, kind of thicker sauce. Yeah, that's exactly how I remember it. Oh yeah, very thick. The crust itself is kind of airy, but then there's all this kind of buttery grease on top, which is really delicious. Uh, you have the Alfredo sauce. It has a little bit of spiciness to it, which kind of surprised me. I got the kind of cheesy crust that's uh, caramelized on the corner. Uh, so you get this kind of crispy, almost like a Parmesan crisp. Normally these are about 28 to 30 bucks. You can save $10 by coming here on Thursday for 20 bucks for the quality, for the toppings. This will fill you up. This is for about three people, in my opinion. Is that the only Detroit style pizza we're gonna try? No, no, no. We're gonna try some more uh, coming up right now. We are here and originally we wanted to do Detroit style pizza, uh, but the place I wanted to try had just a super complicated Uber thing and it took about two hours, so instead, let's go somewhere else. We're gonna do a Chicago style pizza. Here we go, I've got this beautiful big boy and I also have some buffalo wings, uh, Chicago style pizza. Very hard to find in Vancouver. There's one new place operating out of the Flying Pig. We are in beautiful Olympic Village, uh, just a couple blocks away uh, from the Flying Pig. And uh, I think we're gonna start with these buffalo wings. There you go, oh, yes, perfect. Uh, I don't think I've had buffalo wings in quite a while. I'm gonna grab this guy because he is very obvious, just kind of standing out in the middle. Oh, very hot still. Look at this big boy, and super sauced up, uh, very, very meaty, and of course, a traditional dip into this. Uh, I think it's a ranch, yeah. Stupid thumbnail. Oh yeah, wow. Really good flavor, lots of sauce, a little bit of a spice. It's not really crispy anymore because there's so much sauce that it's kind of just overwhelmed the batter. That's perfectly fine, because the chicken is just so tender. And yeah, these are very good chicken wings, and these are these are big ones. And if you don't make a mess, you're not eating them properly. Now, uh, the pièce de résistance, or in an English accent, the pièce de résistance. Uh, we have the super baked deep dish pizza. Deep dish pizza. Let's go. Let's open it up. This is meat and bone. I will explain it once I open it up. Whoa! <laughs> what is this? <laughs> yes, this one has a bone marrow in the middle. Arugula. There's bresciola. Uh, and then of course being Chicago deep dish you need the thick crust and uh, yeah, oh, oh very cheesy I can see a little bit of a cheesy preview there. Oh a little bit of a history not not very much uh, just from what I know uh, Chicago pizza uh, Was actually created in 1943 uh, the first place that uh, claimed to create it is uh, I think it's called pizzeria or uno pizzeria using a very kind of uh, tall pan and that's where you get the kind of thicker crust you just fill it with a whole bunch of sauce. Anyways, I will shut up and I will just grab one of these bites. 
Whoa, look at that cheese. I'm gonna butter on some of this bone marrow. Oh, oh man, it's gonna take you in my hand. Oh, there you go. My excitement level went from like a nine out of 10 to like a thousand out of 10. Thick pizza, cheese, bone marrow, brachiola, which is like a uh, normally like a dried uh, beef, kind of salami. Yeah, that was a lot of bone marrow. That, that was delicious. Uh, bone marrow, super creamy, dissolves in your mouth. Very, very pillowy crust, uh, less sauce than I am used to. So some Chicago deep dish will have more sauce. So you have kind of like a big ratio of sauce on there. The brachiola is nice and crispy. Uh, then you just have the arugula, which is kind of playing second fiddle a little bit. You can't taste too much of it. I think the onions on there are pickled with that bone marrow and all those delicious ingredients. That's a very, very good slice of pizza. My only critique, and I will say this because, uh, you know, I have had uh, the deep dish in Chicago, is it needs a little bit more sauce and maybe more melty cheese. So that's what I'd like to see a little bit more of. But wow, overall the ingredients are delicious. It's still really, really good. Yeah, all. <laughs> Oh, hi there. Our last place is kind of uh, a style of pizza that's grown a lot in Canada too, uh, but also in the US, and it actually doesn't have an American name at all. It is Greek style pizza. Uh, yeah, kind of uh, different. Uh, Greek style pizza actually originated uh, apparently in uh, on the east side of the US, uh, but it's something we've been eating for a very long time here in Vancouver. Uh, so I'm glad to show you uh, one of the better spots for Greek pizza. And of course in Greek pizza, it's all about just the huge insane amount of toppings and lots of cheese. We're gonna get that. There's the beach very close by. Uh, it's The sun is setting. Hopefully it should be a very nice meal and uh, we should finish off with that. Let's go. We're going to DD. I think it's double DD Greek dishes, pizza, pasta, anything you want. I think we also got some calamari in there too. So yeah, let's uh, cross that street and get that delicious pizza. Take a picture of the view. Oh, this is another one of those favorite dishes that you can find in pretty much any Greek restaurant. We did drive a little bit, so they are not as crispy as we wanted them to be. But yeah, lots of calamari, lots of red onion, big slice of lemon. Oh, let's just sprinkle those bad boys on there. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Calamari, tzatziki. Dip, and into my mouth. Oh. Mm -hmm. So simple. It's not crispy anymore, unfortunately. Uh, but other than that, just perfect, nicely seasoned. Uh, the tzatziki is very nice, and uh, yeah, nice and airy kind of uh, light coating on there. This is very typical of Greek pizza. You can pretty much just load it up to the brim with ingredients. So many ingredients, pineapple, olives, pepperoni, I think there's ham, uh, there's, I don't know what else there is in here. I think there's onions, there's red pepper, just all the works. Let's take this one. This one is huge and look at just the absolute size. This is literally the size of the Chicago deep dish, except instead of sauce, you are getting straight up meat layers. This is like a, a high rise of meat. Look at this side. Whoa. You have the ham, you have some pepperoni, you have just everything. And yeah, this is just a straight up comfort food. Mm -hmm. So much going on. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of meat. You have obviously that uh, that pineapple on there. You have the green pepper. Just meaty, delicious. You pound this with a whole bunch of beers. This will satisfy pretty much every craving you have. Like I said, sweet, salty, thick, cheesy, uh, nice crust on the top. No complaints at all. You know, this pizza is so good. I almost want to say, what's Athenin? You know, because like Athens is the capital of, of Greece. Greek pizza.
that will end our uh, video. I'm really happy that I was able to show you a different style of American pizzas that you can find in Vancouver. Thank you so much for joining us. If you do uh, enjoy videos, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button. Also, hit us up with those comments and uh, hit the bell icon uh, so we can notify you of future videos. Uh, I'm gonna walk towards the ocean. I will see you very soon. Ciao!